since this dried like this, I'm going to use better silicone oil and try again. Hello everyone and welcome back to Sarah's Abstract Expressions. My name is Sarah and today I'm doing uh, a painting that was actually inspired by Julie, uh, Pouring Your Heart Out Julie, a uh, fabulous teacher, I must say. I'm very excited to try this um, multiple flip cup on one canvas thing that she does. Um, not even gonna lie, I am learning, so bear with me. Um, I went shopping today and got this though. Uh, it's the Artist Loft Silicone Oil. I'm so excited to try this out. This was actually recommended to me by a subscriber. I can't remember who it is off the top of my head right now. I believe it was Dawn. Thank you so much, Dawn. But um, yeah, I will get you set up and we will get started. Uh, firstly, I'm gonna show you how I mix my paints because I know a lot of people are kind of wondering still, so. So as you can see, I have a very, very full frame today because, well, I want to show you lots and lots of stuff. So first I'm going to stick these three cups in my canvas, just off to the side while I knock over my container. Um, this is how I mix my paints. These are the containers I found at my local dollar store. Whoop! Just give me a second. I found like three, they come in three packs. They're 12 ounce containers. Uh, they lock on top of each other, so they're great for storage. I thought they were great. I got them for $2.50 a pop. I bought what all of the 12 ounce ones they had in the darn store. Um, these are the best things I've come across for paint so far. Love, love them. Plus I can write on the lids with permanent marker to see what like, yeah, see? So this one I'll be mixing today will be Liquitex Basics Fluorescent Pink in Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. So just give me a second. Um, my ratios are a little different than most. I do try to keep it uh, a thin, thickish consistency. It's hard to explain. Like I have it, um, oh wow. Oh! That's bright. Okay, so <laughs> I have my consistencies based on, well, what I need. So I'll use thinner paints for when it comes to string pulls, but I'll use thicker paints when it comes to flip cups. So this is thicker in comparison to my string pulls, but not as thick as like that, because that's ridiculous. This is a uh, flow trowel. This is what I use to like thin my paint. Um, as you can see, I just add enough to barely cover it. I do like to shake it up though, because it likes to separate. Oh boy, this is going to be quite the adventure. Okay, I guess I should have added a little bit more flow trial than I thought just to help it. <laughs> Canada Floetrol, it's hard to find, especially in Ontario, because um, I don't know if it's all, if it's just Dulux has it across Canada, but I know in Ontario in particular, Dulux uh, paints, it's a paint store, that is the only place where you can buy Floetrol. We don't, we can't go to, um, like Home Depot and find it, which is rather unfortunate, but whatever. Um, from here, I will check my consistencies. As you can see, this is actually still really, really thick. Um, and I'll add water until I find my desired consistency. So it's easier to add a little bit of water at a time instead <laughs> Like, it's easier to add a little bit of water and then find your desired consistency that way instead of adding too much water and then having to go back. That's always a pain. You guys aren't straight. I'm so sorry. Ooh. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Thing wasn't screwed on quite tight enough. Wow, I really like this iridescent medium. Uh, still a little on the thick side. A little bit more. What a... 
Oh, and for a wild change. Oh, I do need that other cup. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and for a change, I'm actually going to add silicone to all my colors again because well, I really want to try this out and everything because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good consistency. As you can see, the mound stays for a little bit and then it goes back into the paint real fast. And it's hard to tell because it's iridescent, but nonetheless. So, that is how I mix my paints. So, I shall put that back down on the floor and add some to this cup. So, that's how my, I do that. Um, I'm also going to be using folk art in ink spot. I had to thin this one out considerably. It was just mm, 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 mm. no. <laughs> also going to be using Grumbacher in dioxazine purple. Like the rest of it, it looks like. Oh well, it's no big deal. I'm also going to be using. I gotta go grab another stick in a second. Um, Ecotex Basics in bright aqua green. And last but not least, I'm gonna be using the Arta Artist Loft Titanium White. I just mixed my Floetrol and water in this container to make my life significantly easier. Because this way I can just... And if I want to use it as a base color, I still can. So, I gotta grab a stick for that though, so just give me a second. Putting the steps away at the same time. Emily's asleep in the bedroom, so hopefully she doesn't decide to come out. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing three flip cups on one canvas, but first I need to add silicone to these, so I'm so excited. What do you guys think? Two drops in each? I feel like this is going to do a lot better than my, uh, this. <laughs> Mix that in real good. Okay, so I never really add silicone to my white, but it's only when I don't, when I use it as a base on my canvas that I don't like using it. So, winning, I suppose. Um... I'm just gonna bring my canvas back closer, so I have this. So I'm gonna do something a little whew, different. Um, each cup is gonna be like slightly different from one another, but that's okay. So I'll stick away as a space. I almost need like a rag. I'm gonna use purple next, but I'll use purple as a base in this cup. And then I will go pink and blue. Wait, myself. Oh, come on, me! <laughs> so I'll do pink. 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 <laughs> Bear with me, I'm sorry. If I can only get one layer, so be it. 
only have an 11 by 14 canvas anyways. So, blue. Blue is next. I know it looks really weird right now because they're uneven amounts, but you'll see my, um, my madness in a minute, I suppose. Green. 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 Aqua green-ish. Okay, so, um... Now I'll add the white to these two. I'm trying to get them even, but... <laughs> white. Um... Purple. Right? Yeah. Now they're all different. How cool is that? Okay. Um, are they about even? Yeah, kind of. Like, there's still a little bit of paint left in there, but that's no big deal. Alright, I'm gonna put on some gloves. Um, went to go and try fine gloves. <clears throat> I forgot we're in the middle of a pandemic. Essentially. So when I went to go and try fine gloves today, it was impossible. We went to three different Walmarts. I didn't find anything that would fit me anyways. I didn't look at this again. So <laughs> at least I can reuse these ones. Okay. I'm not used to flipping like this, so bear with me. Yeah, I can deal with that. Okay. Hmm. No, come back. That is not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Like, bear with me. I am st still learning. Oh, okay. Um, just we're working quickly, Sarah. <laughs> so like I said, I found this idea from Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out. Um, she's much better at this than I am, so I will link her <laughs> channel down in the, um, description and in the pin comment as well so um yeah like i said she's a lot better at this than i so mm. okay so now i'm just gonna eh, turn it around it's neat how each one came out so different from one another just Considering she kind of wiggled hers around, and that's what I'm trying to do, but also maintain these nice little lines. I love how Ink Spot always comes out looking so well, Ink Spotty like it actually looks like an ink puddle. Oh, come on, you got this painting. I just have to go straight down like that. Yeah. And this way. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> you can. Yes. There we go. Oh, I'll touch up that one corner in a second. Keep sticking my thumbs and things anyways. Just trying to get this evened out again. Not as good as it's gonna get anyways. <laughs> I 
These gloves are way, way, way too big for me. I feel like I'm just better off grabbing my pilot knife and doing it that way now. Because this is ridiculous. Looks a little out of place, but oh well. Neat. Okay. See what happens with the torch. Well, dude. Is it even doing anything? Yeah. It's just taking its time, it seems. The poor cat in the other room is probably like, what is this? She had quite the, uh, We've had quite the night, to say the least. The thunderstorm really sent everyone for a loop. Cats were running around, and Emily was bashing her cone off things. It wasn't, it wasn't nice. <laughs> oh boy. So, like I said, I was going to do. I'm going to post uh, pouring your heart out's channel in my description and in my pinned comment because well look at this this is incredible she's taught me so much in such a short amount of time um look at the cells on this like mm. i really do like this new silicone oil i must say this is quite the uh quite the new stuff that's for sure i'm gonna have to play with it more to see what what will really happen I will come back in a little while to see how this has changed, and then I'll get you down for a close-up. Well, this is how all the cells decided to pop up. I do like how the iridescent medium kind of like blended into the rest of the paints. That's that's neat. It's different. I wasn't expecting that. Um, probably won't use Ink Spot again because of how well grainy it is if you can see that not what i was particularly gearing for let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments section below make sure to go check out julie's channel share with your friends to spread the love like this video if you like this painting and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all next time